Everyone, it's the 10th of March, the big 10-0 of March. Ruby's playing a new game called Bouncy Seed. And it's so cute. Oh! <laughs> Look, he gets dizzy after too. <laughs> and he goes faster too. It, with the rainbow thing. Mm. Ah! <laughs> he gets scared. This is the app of the day called Bouncy Seed. Bouncy Seed. Cuteness. And yeah, Ruby's already a pro. She got like 1600 points on it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I think this is gonna be my high score so far. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> I have to beat Kahea's score. What's Kahea's score? I'm like 50 something. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Mommy! I think that's my high score though. Wait, I thought you were gonna say. Oh, no, it's not. What is my high score? <laughs> Hey Facebookers, I am going to do a moral of the day today. Now, but if you don't know what a moral of the day is, it's where I rant and I bitch and I moan about customers at my store and about people in my life who have wronged me. Wronged me in a way so much that I have to rant and bitch on Facebook or YouTube about it. So since I haven't done a lot of vlogs, here's a moral of the day. Everybody, welcome to more of a day by G the game. My name is Ace, and today your moral is to not get it twisted. What I mean by this, do not get it twisted when you think that I uh, hate my job. I really love my job. Don't get it twisted when you think that I work for minimum wage at my job. Um, girl, I get paid the money, honey. Now, what happened to me today was that a sweet, beautiful cheapskate of man comes up into my store. He rolls up thinks he owns the motherfucking place. Ask me how much he, th he doesn't ask me. He throws his damn tickets on the damn counter. And I'm looking at him like, honey, we ain't at a bar. You don't need to throw your money at me. You don't need to throw your tickets at me, honey. You can give it back to me. I don't fucking care. I'm not a stripper. Not right now. Maybe at like, what time is it? What time is it? Hold on. Let me check. 136? 136? A.M. Girl, my shift starts soon. You can call me a damn stripper then, but not right now. He throws his tickets up at me, and I'm counting the tickets like real fast. Oh, you yeah, have 20 tickets. But he says, now I want to see it weighed. And I'm like, really? You gonna play that card with me? He says, well, because I know that the ticket scale doesn't work that well. And I'm like, okay, let me, let me weigh it for you then. I threw the tickets on the scale. It was 30 tickets. So I said, you know what? It's 30 tickets. So I actually weighed more. And he was like, oh... Well then, can I get my 30? And I'm like, you thought I was going to give you less tickets and now you want more? Fine. And I was like really nice. I was like, okay, you have 30 tickets. I gave you 10 more. Boo hoo. Let's go. Let's go. And he's like, what can I get for 30 tickets? I was like, really? You're going to play that card with me? All we have for 30 tickets really is like erasers, army man, and a fucking finger trap. Like there ain't shit for 30. You need to get a lot of more cash. I think he only spent one dollar in my store, and I was like, "Really? Are you gonna, you can play that ticket with me? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's hurry up! Come on, come on, come on! I have stuff to do. I had another customer with two hundred more tickets. I had to do my um, I had to do my cleaning checklist. I didn't have the time to waste for this kid, this guy. Mm. Anyway, he comes up to me and he says, "Well, I found something." I'm like, "Oh, great, great, that's cool. Thank you, Jesus." Good Lord, go away, was, was what I was thinking in my head. 
but I didn't say it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. What do you got for me? He goes, well, I want this slinky. Everybody at Fun Factor knows that a slinky is 50 tickets. If you don't know that, then oh well. But anyway, it's 50 tickets. And I was like, oh, well, you have 30. And he was all like, um, can't you give me 20 more tickets? I'm like, um, not really, because I'm sorry, but that's giving you money. That's giving you more tickets than you already did. I already gave you 10 tickets. What more do you want from me, hun? And he's looking at me like, uh, well, um, I just want that slinky. My, my daughter wants that slinky really badly. Can you please give it to me? I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. My boss told me that I can't do that. I'm sorry, but I have to, you know, I have to abide by the rules of my boss. And he's like looking at me like, really, you're going to play that with me? And I'm like, yeah, I am. And I didn't budge. I'm so sorry. The problem with this is with a lot of customers that come into my store is that they think they can cheat me out of money. Bitch, it adds up. It adds up. We lose so much products that way. And we lose so much money that way. That is money that could be going into my pocket. I have to work the corner because people are, like, you know, I have to find another job working the corner because people are stealing from my store. That money is floating away like a little butterfly. Oh, 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 that that's my iPod that I could have got. Oh, 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 that's my dildo that I could have got. Oh, 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 that's the condoms that I could have got. Oh, I'm reaching for it. I'm reaching, oh, it's gone. That's how I feel sometimes. And people don't understand that. And it pisses me off. So I do not let that happen in my store. I'm like, no, 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 honey, boo-boo. You're not getting anything more. Nothing more. I'm already giving you customer service. I'm already giving you excellent customer service. I'm not going to give you any more. This ain't Costco's. This is not Safeway where you get stuff for free samples. You can go there if you want something for free. Other than that, mm -mm. this ain't a Bible. This ain't people coming up to your door and selling you Jesus. Good girl, I'm sorry. You're at Fun Factor. You're in hell because I'm working here. I'm sorry about it. So he gets all mad at me and he's like, well, you, you know, you're rude. And I said, thank you. You know, cool, whatever. Pick out your prize. He gets two gummy bears and walks away, and he tells his wife, so I overhear it. And to the other customer that's there, this boy must really love his job. And I'm looking at him like, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. So I said, excuse me, sir. I love my job here. What I don't love is your attitude. And you may think that my attitude is horrible too, but you know what? You're trying to cheat me out of money, money in my store. I know it's only 20 cents, but that adds up. People always come into my store and they think they can't cheat me out of money. And you are no exception to that. What are you teaching your kids to steal? You know, a restaurant doesn't do that. Like when you go to a store, they don't do that. You don't have the money for it. You can't pay for it. It's too bad. Too bad. Go wash dishes. Go get another money. Go save your salary. I'm so sorry. I'm not giving you more money than you already have. Like, you know what I mean? Same thing happens with Fun Factory. You need to treat places the same way that you treat my store. I'm not going to give you any more money. I'm not going to give you any more tickets. I'm not going to give you any more coins. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Mm -mm. That is money going away, floating away. Oh, 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 oh. There's the Glee song that I wanted. Oh, oh, oh. There, there's the hair care products that I need. There's the makeup. Oh, gone. You know what I mean? I lose out. And he's looking at me like, well, you're just rude. I'm so, well, you're just stupid. I'm sorry. More of the day is don't get it twisted in my job. I love my, I love my job. What I don't like is you. I'm so sorry that this was horrible. I'm so fucking tired. And I'm going to end my vlog right here too. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching another premiere of my, um, what do I call this? More of a day? I am, I'm really tired, so it wasn't that good. But usually I'm more black or usually I'm more pissed off or something. But I'm tired. I have to go to school tomorrow, which is really cool. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Now my shift started.